Link aggregation groups, or legs, combine multiple physical links into one logical link. This is done to increase overall bandwidth and link redundancy between connected devices. There are some requirements to keep in mind when configuring legs. First, ensure that the port speed, duplex mode, flow control, and MTU size settings for the leg you create on each device are the same. Verify that the VLAN memberships on each port that are a part of the leg match as well. Second, before the leg is set up on both sides, do not connect cables between devices on the ports that are a part of the leg. If loop prevention is not enabled, a network loop would develop in that situation. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use the command line interface, CLI, to set the lag settings on a Cisco business switch. Next. Start by logging into the CLI of the first switch. Enter global configuration mode by entering the command conf t, which is short for configure terminal. Next, you need to access the specific interfaces of the switch to add to the lag. You can select these interfaces one at a time or in a range. On this first switch, I'll show how to configure each one individually. Enter int gi1, which is the short form of the command interface gigabit ethernet one. This command accesses the interface for the first port of the switch. At this point, commands are specific to that port. I'll enter the run command channel-group1 mode auto. To break that down, the ID of this leg is one. The mode can be on or auto. If you select on, the interface is added without the link aggregation control protocol, LACP. If you enter auto, the interface is added with LACP. A notification shows that lag one is down. No worries, that's just because the interfaces are not connected yet. That's it for the first port. To go specifically into port two, enter int gi2, which is the short form of the command interface gigabit ethernet two, and then enter channel dash group one mode auto. Now there are two ports that are members of lag one on switch one. Time to move over to the second switch to get the lag set up on that end. Enter global configuration mode with the command conf t. On this switch, I'll show you the option to configure a range of ports all at the same time. To do this, enter int range gi1-2, which is the short form of the command interface gigabit ethernet one through two. This puts you in the interface mode for the entire range of ports. So in this case, the commands will apply to those two ports at the same time. I'll enter channel-group1 mode auto. This matches the settings that were put on the first switch. Leg one is still showing as down because I still need to physically connect the ports. Okay, the ports are now connected and the port channel is established. You can check the status of the leg with the command show interfaces port dash channel one. Here, you can see that gigabit interfaces one and two are actively participating in the leg. Great. A few other options to check out for the leg is to look at the load balancing method, how the traffic is load balanced between the physical links in the leg. You can see the current load balancing method is source, destination, MAC. This means that the port channel load balancing is based on the source and destination MAC address. The other option is source, destination, MAC IP. This means that the load balancing is based on the source and destination MAC and IP addresses. If you want to change this, enter the command port dash channel load dash balance. If you change the load balancing method on one switch, you must change it on the other switch too. Like all other settings, they must match on both sides. One last option I'll point out is for LACP. You can adjust the system priority. With the command LACP system dash priority and then a value, you can adjust which of the switches will control the LACP dynamic link aggregation management. This is how easily lag is configured on CBS switches using the command line interface. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.